Hello guys, Taff HD here and welcome back to another video and I will finally, finally be backing up my data. This is something I've been trying to do for years and I am finally getting it done. So I will be using Carbon Copy Cloner to back up my data and I will go through that entire process in today's video. Now, if you've seen all of my other data related videos from recently, you'll know that I still need to get another four terabyte Seagate drive. Right now, everything off here is just on here, but after today, everything off here will be backed up weekly to here. And once these are full, which is very, very, very soon, another one of the Seagate drives will be backed up to this drive here. So that will be done in the future, but today we will just be doing the backup between these two drives and in the future. Off camera, I'll set up the other one because it will just be the same process. So without messing around, let's just go onto the computer and do this. All right, so here we are. I will be doing this on my MacBook Pro and here are the two drives. Nova is the four terabyte Seagate, which everything is on, and Nova BC KP is what everything will be backed up to. Now apparently having a backup is too long so I can't have that so I've had to abbreviate it. Kind of annoying but not exactly a big deal. So the first thing we can do is just open up Carbon Copy Cloner. I have the trial installed and once I know that it's going to work out I will go ahead and buy it. I'm not the sort of person which will just run a trial forever. I will buy it if I think it's worth doing. So I think what we need to do is start a new task. I will call this Nova Weekly Backup. That seems to make sense. The drive is called Nova and it will be backed up weekly. So that will do. So the source we are going to use is going to be Nova and we want the destination to be Nova Backup. Now this has turned on safety net. I'm not sure whether I want that or not. I'm actually going to turn off safety net. I don't need that turned on and we can also do some automation. Now I do want this to be done weekly. Ah, so there's a lot of conditions that we can look at in here. So we want it weekly as I said, repeat every one week, it can start today, that seems fine to me. We can run it, let's say, I think on a Friday I want it to run. Yep, that's all fine, done, and I think it really is as simple as that. So this is going to run weekly on Friday every week, and I think that we can save that and it does give us a warning that it may delete some things off Nova Backup. Before we go ahead and do that, let's just check Nova Backup is an empty drive, so that is all okay. Let's save that. There we go, that is now saved and let's run this now. And because the drive is nearly full and it is a four terabyte drive, this thing is going to take a very, very long time. But I'd like to get the initial one done now so then every week it can just keep adding to it. So I'm just going to let this do what it's doing. All right, so according to Carbon Copy Cloner, this has now been going for nearly 17 and a half hours and it has successfully copied 3.03 .03 terabytes but it still says there's another three and a half hours left. This is definitely taking a very, very long time. So I guess I'll come back when it's done. I'm guessing it will take nearly a day to do. All right, there we go. It has finally finished and if you can see that, it took 22 and a half hours and it copies 171,000 files and that all came to 3.62 terabytes. So I will be doing that every Friday automated from now on and it shouldn't take that long ever again because I'm guessing it will just back up 
the difference between the old backup and the new and it'll probably be maybe 20 or 30 gigabytes each time it does it so that really shouldn't take too long but that is it nova weekly backup has now been completed successfully so there we are all the same folders appear to be here just fine let's go into one of the folders just on this back up drive and let's just see if it does play i would expect it to work just fine yep there we go it's playing back just fine so now i have the reassurance that if one of my drives dies everything is still saved elsewhere so i can finally be confident that my data is now safe so i am very very happy with that so there we are that will now be it for today's video everything off nova is now on nova backup and once that's full i'll start doing the same thing with the other drives so this was probably a pretty quick video and not really much going on but this is something which i really needed to do and i've really needed to do it for a long time now so i'm very happy that i have finally got it done so thank you very much for watching this video Hopefully it was interesting in some way and maybe it taught you how you could use Carbon Copy Cloner to do a similar thing to what I did. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.